Well, the big news coming through the wire, uh, Alex, over today is that the confirmation of Sam Bennett to a new team leaving to Kuna Quickstep. And the new team is the old team, Team Bora. So the Irishman is uh, back with Team Bora after two years with Team Dukunik. And those two years include, included 2020 and the green jersey at the Tour de France, stage wins at the Tour de France. But being left off in 2021 of the Tour de France team for Team Dukunik, there were some uh, kind of bitter feelings, I think, when he left the team. Yeah, I think there's that. Um, I think, you know, he's... He's, you know, he's probably, you know, later in his career, so he's got to figure out the place that's going to make the most sense for him to get the best best out of him, um, have the right lead-out train that's going to help him because as a sprinter, you're nowhere without your lead-out train, unless you're Peter Sagan. Um, but it's a bit of musical chairs right now. It's silly season, and you know, as we've seen, once August 1st hits, the teams are allow- allowed to sign riders and make those announce those changes. Sagan's leaving um, his, uh, you know, the Bora Hans grow a program with Ralph Dank to, uh, was it direct energy? In yes. the, in, you know, yeah. yeah. But most importantly, Sagan is taking all his buddies, riders and support staff. I think it's like a, I don't know, 10, 15 person entourage. We added all up with the mechanics and soigneurs and everything over to direct energy away from Bora. So now that that's left a big vacuum for Ralph Denk to fill at Bora. Um, I think Ackerman's going. Yeah, Pascal Ackerman is leaving as well. So go, now go, you go, see go, Sam go. Bennett with a clear uh, runway ahead of him. You know, remember why he left Team Bora. You've got to have some time off. Part of that was because he didn't have a space. And, uh, I predicted Sagan, even the guys who were racing so well two this years last, ago. This not last quite winter as good weren't going to have a good season Pascal this year. Pascal Ackerman yeah, was improving I guess I'm year after wrong year. There, so now you know, Pascal Ackerman, he's rumored to be joining UAE Team Emirates. Peter Sagan, as you said, over to Total Energy. Uh, so Sam Bennett should be the big sprinter back at Bora. Uh, I'm not quite sure if they're going to be using specialized bikes because the news just came that uh, Specialized is going over to Total Energy with Sagan and his whole entourage. Uh, they're sticking with Sagan. So that'll that'll be interesting to see as well. We know De Kunik is already on specialized bikes, so I can't imagine three teams in the Peloton on specialized bikes, but that could happen. Let's see what happens there. So a lot of interesting maneuvers there. Uh, and also it's going to be interesting to see what Pascal Ackerman does there at, at uh, UAE Team Emirates with Tade Pogachar, the two-time Tour de France champion in the ranks as well. Uh, but great to see Sam Ben, a great guy. Great to see him back at Team Bora where it all began for him back at Argonne 18 days. And uh, he just went through the ranks there until he finally left two years ago. Yeah, no, I, I think I think it's going to be a good move for Bennett. Um, you know, the, he'll, he'll have the team focused around him as opposed to distracted by Sagan, <laughs> essentially. Um, so there'll be, there'll, there'll be some, some good power that will be built uh, for, for Bennett to be successful. And I think I'm sure as far as negotiations go, he's going to make sure that there will be uh, riders that can support him and the and team management that will support him. Um, and, uh, you know, entry into Tour de France, let's say next year, which, you know, there's other great races, but let's fo- let's face it, you know, winning a stage of the tour is is where Sam Bennett wants to be next year. Yeah, and it's interesting to see, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Peter Sagan too. They say they signed a two-year contract for 2022 and 2023. The team is not World Tour and they're going to hope to push for a World Tour license in 2023. And Sagan, as he did with Team Bora, could and should help them get that World Tour license. But you kind of think Peter Sagan's glory days are behind them and you kind of wonder what he's going to be doing in that French team. But I'm sure the whole atmosphere will change when Sagan's entourage arrives. Uh, but with so many new guys like your Vanderpools, your Van Ertz, and your Pitcocks coming around, uh, I don't see uh, Peter Sagan having so many more glory days ahead of him. But time will tell on that. I'd love to be a fly in the wall at the, at the next training camp with Total Energy when Sagan shows up with his te- with all his guys. And there's all these French guys. They love to sort of talk French <clears throat> in the corner by themselves. And then there's the other guys coming in who aren't really French. Uh, and it's going to be, um, there's going to be an interesting dynamic there that the team management's going to have to manage very carefully. Yeah. And we haven't seen, you know, Ed, Ed Wald Bosenhagen went to the team, uh, Nikki Terpstra. We haven't seen those guys really do much at the team. Uh, so let's see what happens with Peter Sagan.